Hi everybody, welcome to a follow-up on my software update 2.0 video that I recently did. One thing I've noticed is that the 12 volt battery is being treated differently now that the software update has occurred. Let me give you a little background. Several months ago I did a video on how to open the hood on the Fisker Ocean and hook up a battery tender. I also hooked up a 12 volt battery monitor and I'll show you a little picture of that right now. So over this time, I've been watching the 12 volt battery status and keeping records of how it's been working over this time. What happens is that when the 12 volt battery gets low, the high voltage battery pack will charge up the 12 volt battery, hopefully when the battery doesn't get too low. One thing I must say is that there were some initial problems with the 12 volt battery. The negative terminal had an issue where it was not straight and it was causing a problem with the internal battery monitor of the car. If you have that straightened out, that alleviated quite a few problems that we've seen with the 12 volt battery. But in any case, let me talk about the monitor. Let me start the battery monitor app. And right now it's showing that the car is at 12.68 volts, which is really good. Let me look at the history. And this pulls up a chart of the last 12 hours or so. And note that the chart is having the 12 volt battery charge roughly when it gets to about 12.4 volts and it charges it up to about 12.6 volts and that is really good. Previously I'll show you a picture of some other charts that I did and the voltage pretty often went below 12 volts. I've seen 11.9 and then it charges it up to roughly 12.6, 12.7. The problem is, is that when the car has a low voltage on the 12 volt battery, it causes some of the subsystems to report errors. And that's why sometimes you'll see the little telltale symbols on the driver's screen posting errors on some of the 8S items or other systems on the car. So if you get below 12, that causes problems. Luckily, with this new 2.0 update, we're seeing a higher voltage level maintained. So if the car is maintaining between, say, 12.4 and 12.6 or 7, that's much better for the car because it will have less errors and the subsystems will work uh, very smoothly. Another thing I must say is that for the battery longevity itself, having the 12 volt battery stay in that range is much better. If it goes below 12 a lot, that's stressing the battery. So over the next couple of weeks, I'll be looking at these charts and seeing if they maintain this same spread in the voltage. I, I consider this really good news and one of the unannounced benefits of the software update 2.0. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.